Okay, folks, we're here with Brutus. Brutus, you have a red hand. Can you tell us what happened? Cat bite. Cat bite. Ow, look at that. Now, when did this happen? Uh, Three days ago. Three days ago. All right. We've got a little yo-yo. I'm going to do a culture. You're going to have to be a little bit more aggressive if we're going to get anything. Can you press it there? Yeah. Go ahead and bend your finger for me. Bend it? Uh, Are you able to? I don't. Uh, I know I can. I just, it hurts. Okay. Because I've got one on the bottom, too. Okay. We're going to do our best to get a little culture here because a lot of... Uh, a lot of these cat bites can turn into, uh, or, or are due to infections from cat bites, I should say. Are due, there you go, good. Are due to resistant strains of an organism known as Pastorella matosida. There you go, that should do it. And we need to put you on a really strong antibiotic, and we are going to monitor you closely. We're going to give you some pain medicine, something for nausea. Um, wow. There we go. That looks like it really hurts. Are you going to be able to work? Oh, I don't think so. Um, you're going to have a hard time working for a couple of days, probably, I would think. Have um, you had any fevers or chills? You know, I haven't, but um, lightheaded. Very, very lightheaded. Okay. Can you for take, the whole weekend, um, I'll take okay. in, even though you're allergic to codeine? You know, it's it's strong pain medicine. It makes me sick. It makes me nauseous and shaky. Um, I wouldn't even, to be honest, I don't think I'd want to try anything stronger than like an 800 milligram Ibuprofen How about some tramadol or something? Tramadol I've, works good. I've never taken it. That's good. We'll give you some tramadol to try. And the maternator, just you can do that. Do your, yeah. Is your stomach? Uh, you ever get upset? Stomach? It's Meg very sensitive. Okay, yeah. you need to start her on some Zantac as well. So we'll put you on Zantac 150 twice a day while you're taking this ibuprofen 800 milligrams, so we don't really irritate your stomach. Every time I hear, it, I need to change it. Yeah, yeah. My works. cat, my thing ringtone is a cat meow. Oh. <laughs> so what? So let's let's finish oh. this up here. So what you have is a cat bite cellulitis. Presumptive uh, Pastorella metacida. Uh We're going to be on a, a, a lookout for um, osteomyelitis, which is going to mean x-rays. We checked with you. You're up to date on your tetanus shot. And so we already talked about the antibiotic is Augmentin 875. You're going to take twice a day. And the rest is going to be supportive care. Pain medicine, nausea medicine, and follow-up. And we'll be following up with you tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Thanks for letting us video. Yeah, that made me kind of nervous. <laughs> I shouldn't okay. say nervous, but um, okay. So yeah, I knew this wasn't in my head. I was like, no. Okay. No, definitely not. Because in your head. they can get infected and be not responsive to this, and it's not okay, responsive yeah. at all. That's right. And look, we've got little Gonzo coming in to say hi. Stay tuned for the Meta Seven video. Hey everyone, I would just like to thank Dr. Gilmore. I use this Meta 7 every single morning and it gives me more energy during the day. I also take rest more to help me fall asleep at night. They have changed my life dramatically and I definitely recommend rest more and Meta 7 to many, many people.